Mom doesn't know I'm coming home. The surprise is about to go down. The surprise is about to go down. Okay. Ugh. We're walking up to the front door. Ah! Alright, Dad. Now you can take it. Yeah. Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Christmas, I told you oh. it would be sooner than you thought. <laughs> I got it all on film. <laughs> oh, oh my god! You. <laughs> and that's a Kodak moment. Huh. <laughs>
do some blessing in this congregation. We wanted to bless you with someone that might be uh, with some gifts that would be a housekeeper to help you in all the ways that you have uh, uh, helped out us. And so we could ask this uh, housekeeping gift to come on out. Jason? <laughs> Is something supposed to happen? <laughs> 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 Thanks. How did the cleaning go over at the church the other day? Good? <laughs> Except for you? Christmas surprise tonight for a Inland Empire family. They've been without their father for the past several months as he was serving overseas. This past week, his wife sent us a message on our ABC7 Facebook page to tell us her husband was coming home. It's been a busy weekend for Santa Claus at the promenade in Temecula. While most children are asking for bicycles and Barbies, six-year-old Madison Sherman's wish is a bit different. Her father, First Class Petty Officer Ron Sherman, has been deployed in Afghanistan for the past six months serving in the U.S. Navy. Her one wish for Santa Claus was for her father to return home for the holidays. The surprise reunion caught on camera. I was actually supposed to come home right now, but I just didn't tell anybody. I told him I was coming home at the end of the month. So we kind of misled my kids a little bit. Incredible. It's a miracle. 
Angela Sherman kept her husband's homecoming a secret from most everyone, including their 20-year-old daughter, Jordan. It feels amazing. I've missed him a lot, and it's really good that he's home now. It's a miracle. Okay, can I get your name? This was Petty Officer Sherman's second deployment. He first served in Iraq in 2010. Between all the hugs and kisses, Angela Sherman said it just means a lot to have him back. He's going to be safe. Safe with us for Christmas. And now Sherman and his family live in Winchester. He is stationed at Port Wainimi. I spoke to him over the phone. He said that they plan to hit up Disneyland to celebrate. Just keep on smiling. We've got lots of pictures. say something nice about a parent. So please listen up because you're going to like this. This We got a hold of this mother and father. Someone gave us the name. I don't did not know them. I just met them tonight and I found out the father had to leave. But this mother, her son is in the Marines. He's uh, deployed. He's going to be back. In, I just found out today he'll be back in about a week. So he's going to be home pretty soon. But I just thought it'd be nice. Donna, Donna Predico, would you come up here? Donna, come up here. This young woman, she has a 20-year-old son, serving this country. They represent Kyle Falls. How about a nice hand for this mother? Say hello. And Michael, Michael is coming back next week, right? He might be. She thinks he's coming back next week. But I just thought, you know, I, these are the kind of things that... Uh, can bring tears to your eyes. And I just thought we might have a little surprise, give her a flower, do something for her. But since you're a good mother, and what the hell, you haven't seen your son in a year, and he did, he did not marry a foreign girl, so don't worry about that. But I thought we might have a little surprise for Donna. Bob, if you will. So you just say hello to the crowd, wave to everybody. You recognize the song yet? Santa, we got a surprise for you. Before. Gonna, and they just got back from doing a military tour. 
They were in uh, Sarajevo, Lebanon, I forget wherever the hell else you guys were, but... Ever since June 2nd. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this all on video? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I called you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Who all knows? Everybody but Renee knows now. Yeah. She, uh, I just got off the phone with her. And she has no idea he's here. Oh, Daniel. My name is Keith Robinson. I'm a captain in the United States Army, and I'm here on Columbia University's campus to uh, see my daughter graduate. Her name is Ruby Danielle Robinson, and I'm very proud of her. My daughter does not know I'm coming today, so she's going to be very surprised when, I, when she sees me. Um, we've gone through, uh, back and forth, and I had to let her know that it wasn't possible for me to be here because up to about two weeks ago, it didn't look like this was going to happen. So we started juggling things, and I got with my general, and he got me out as fast as possible. And, you know, God is good in so many ways. It's like every stop along the way, they were like, can you leave in 15 minutes? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can leave in 15 minutes. So, no, she didn't know that I was going. She's going to be very surprised when I see her. Congratulations, Chuck Lady. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. To have him here in the flesh means so much to me. I didn't expect it at all. I didn't think it was possible, so I'm so happy about it. To have your parents at your graduation is a big thing. We talked uh, about, two, uh, about two weeks ago, and I think we came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to make it. And then about a week ago, uh, when uh, my general started, went to work and started trying to make this happen for me, Everything happened really fast and, you know, a 14 and a half hour flight from Kuwait to DC, another three and a half hours to Denver. Uh, the next day, turn around and fly back here. I mean, I haven't had time to stop and think about it myself, but when I saw her, it was like, oh, it was all worth it. I really didn't expect him to be there and I was kind of upset about that, but I knew he had other duties to do um, in Afghanistan. So when he came, I was so excited. <laughs> You got a smile. <laughs>
mama. I knew that was gonna work. We got one crying here. Yeah, I knew. He was at home the whole day. You did you did you know what I told you I told you I'm like shaking Be nice can I see it Hold on I'm still recording I can break the Now I got to buy one Did you know you coming Did you know You buy or you did She didn't know She didn't know Why did you Don't even, don't even, don't even hit.